Welcome back. In this tutorial, I'm going to uh, show you how I uh, begin stepping through a uh, process to see uh, what the algorithm is within it. Um, I just did this video, and it was really good. It was great. But you'll never see it, because somewhere along the line, I was converting and encoding and trying to get it up on YouTube, but I had a, a uh, codec problem, and the video didn't turn out, and so here I am again, because even though I saved it, it decided to delete itself. Uh, so, yeah, uh, real quick, I have less than nine minutes now because I explained that. Um, I'm going to open it in Holly. First things first, run it. Doesn't work. It terminates. All right. Well, uh, let's open Ollie. Let's open this, and let's attach to it. I'm only interested in the algorithm, so I don't need to see if it's packed. It's just unpacked itself. If it was, continue running, and I just exited it. <laughs> let's redo that. <laughs> now I'm losing time. That's okay. Um. Now, I'm going to right click, search for all intermodular calls, and we see get text, name, get text, serial. <laughs> um, let's go to here, and we got the text. If there is no serial in, it does this, exits. If not, we land on this call, which goes to here. That's where we need to be. Let's go ahead and type in a serial and a name and click check and we land here. Now let's see what she does. First we are getting the string length of our name and there it is, four. Uh, we move to edx, that offset. Now we move to the byte at edx, our name length. Cool. So we have our length of our name. Um, now we are moving to EDI, the offset of our name, and now we're moving a new offset to ESI. Uh, moving to EDX, the offset of the length of our name, and we're getting that value. We're adding one to EBX, and we're comparing EBX with EDX. So we now have a counter that is going to start at one and end when it gets to four, considering this here jump, if it's equal, jumps out of this big nasty loop. First thing it does is move to AL, the first byte of our name. It compares AL with 5A. If it's less than, it jumps. If it's greater than capital A, which is 4-1, it also jumps. It adds to AL2C. It jumps back up. It adds ECX, EAX. So now our EAX value is capital F plus 2C, which is like lowercase r. It increments and starts over. Uh, at any point, if this here was false, it would not jump, it would add increment, so it would add the regular value and then jump. Um, and if this was false here, it wouldn't add 2c, it would increment and add an increment and then start over. It's going to do that for all but the last character, as you can see. That Here's the third character, jumps up, those are equal, it jumps out. Now we are adding to our total, 666 in decimal, multiplying by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 in decimal, subtracting 23 decimal, how much you want to bet that's how old the person who wrote this is, we're going to multiply by 9, he also probably lives in someone's basement, his name is Triple Torto, anyways, um, we're going to multiply by 9, <laughs> uh, clearing your register, oh and I showed you the wrong one. Anyways, um, back to what we're doing. Moves to ECX A, which is decimal 10, and now it's going to do a divide on ECX. It's going to take EAX, change our registers. Take EAX, divide it by ECX. The remainder is going to go on EDX, answer is going to go on EAX. So, if we step, now we see that we get a 3. Well, there was a 3 at the end of this. Since we're divided by 10, it's just going to move the decimal, take the last digit, and toss it in EDX. 
So now we're going to add 30 to it and write that byte to this address. We call that in the dump, and let's just go to where this jumps out. And since I have a hunch, and we're going to run it. Aha, it wrote that number that I just showed you backwards. So it converted that decimal into, uh, or that hex into decimal backwards. This loop here is probably going to flip it around, and it does. Now, real quick, where does it uh, store it? Follow and dump memory address right here. If we keep going, we see that it does it all right, just like that. And then it moves uh, zero to the end there. It moves that address to EDI. Now it is going to push this offset, which is a static offset, not going to be changing, uh, which is the fourth character on of our name, because it's going to be a string until it hits a zero, since it's referencing this offset, which is a fourth, fourth character. If we put FJLJ1, it would be J1. So, and then it pushes our zero string, and it's going to, I bet, concatenate them, and it did. As you can see here, it's now got a J at the end. It's going to compare this value here with what we typed in. If it's wrong, it's going to jump over the good, give us the bad. If, if it's good, it's going to give us the good. So we know that our serial is essentially add up all of the characters of our name following these rules. Um, and then we are adding 666 in decimal, multiplying by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 in decimal, subtracting 23, multiplying by 9, and then, since we do, we would be doing that all in decimal, we don't even need these two loops, because we'll just output that decimal value in the string format with the fourth character on of our name concatenated to, to the end. So, um, I think I made my time there, I don't know. Uh, and in the next video, I will write a key gen for this, and I will show you something very interesting that uh, a lot of you have actually been asking about and uh, a couple comments on on it as well. Um, I'm not going to tell you what it is so you'll have to wait for that video again. Sorry it's been a while, been having some uh, codec issues as well as some storage issues but I think we got those all sorted out. Thank you for watching, please rate, comment, and subscribe.